Hi, welcome to this month's Member Minute video, and we'll be talking about everyone's favorite subject, back to school shopping. Back to school time has been its own shopping season. According to the National Retail Federation, it only falls short to back to college and Christmas in terms of family spending. Even with students having a very isolated 2020, the NRF reported back to school spending with parents spending an average of $789 per child and the trend is projected to rise for 2021. There are plenty of ways to avoid spending an upwards of $1,000 per child at the start of the new school year. If you create a plan and think smart, you can put your kids back in the classroom for a fraction of this amount. Here are five tips to save some green. One, do a supply sweep. Start by rounding up all of the office and school supplies you already own. Next, go through your kids' closets and start sorting. Donate or toss clothing your kids have outgrown or can no longer use. Then, make a list of what you already have and a shopping list of what you need. Keep this list in your purse or car to avoid forgetting it when you shop for school supplies. Two, check the dollar store. You can get some great deals on basic school supplies at the dollar store, like notebooks and pencils, as well as classroom supplies like face tissue and sanitizer. Just be aware that there are some things to avoid purchasing from the dollar store, such as batteries or tape. This is because with some items, a compromise of cost means a compromise in quality. Three, shop at thrift stores. There are fantastic bargains at thrift stores too. You can find gently used shoes, clothing, backpacks, and even school supplies there for a steal. And many stores run sales specifically for parents shopping for back to school items. Four, shop on a sales tax holiday. Most states offer a back to school tax free weekend. Consumers can buy merchandise without paying sales tax. On these days, you can pick up clothing, computers, and school supplies tax-free. In New Mexico, the holiday falls on August 6th through the 8th. Five, use community resources. Many local communities have businesses and organizations that come together to organize donation drives to help provide school supplies to families in need. You can often find out about these programs by asking your child's school or your local churches. If you follow these tips, you will be amazed by how much you can save, but let's not lose sight of what truly matters, our students. From all of us at Guadalupe Credit Union, thanks for watching.